Hello, my dear students of class 9. This is your Shoma ma'am. And today, I will explain a chapter from your book, Moments. The Beggar, written by Anton Chekhov. Now, we have already read and I have explained the chapter to you between the lines. Today, we will discuss some important points regarding this particular chapter. Before starting with the story, The Beggar, let us know something about the author. The author, Anton Chekhov, who is known as Anton Pavlovich Chekhov, was born on January 29 or January 17 in old style, 1860, Taganrog, Russia, and he died in July 14 to 15 or July 1 or 2, 1904. Baden Wheeler, German. Russian playwright and master of the modern short story. Anton Chekhov was a literary artist of laconic precision who probed below the surface of life, laying bare the secret motives of his characters. This was the most captivating part of his short stories. Chekhov's best plays and short stories lack complex plots and neat solutions. Concentrating on apparent trivialities, they create a special kind of atmosphere, sometimes termed haunting or lyrical. Chekhov described the Russian life of his time using a deceptively simple technique, devoid of obtrusive literary devices, and he is regarded as the outstanding representative of the late 19th century Russian school. Now, children, in my meet class, I already told you that he was the winner of the Pushkin Prize for his literary excellence. This is really something commendable in his literary career. The greatest works of Anton Chekhov are The Steppe, Ward No. 6, Uncle Vanya, The Cherry Orchard, Three Sisters, On Trial, The Darling, The Bet, Vanka, After the Theatre, and many more. To give a short synopsis of this particular story, The Beggar, what we read in our class was, the story is about a prosperous advoc advocate, Skvortsov, also known as Sergei, and a beggar, Lushkov. The advocate is a kind man. He helps the depraved beggar to come out of his miserable life and live like a respectable person. He gives him the task of chopping boots and then calls him for different errands. But in the end, he discovers that he was not the actual benefactor, but his ill-tempered cook, Olga, which was a climax to which the story rose at the end of the story when the main character, Lushkov, he revealed to Sergei that it was Olga who cried, who wept for him. At the same time, she chopped the woods for him so that he can earn a little money and make his life better. This story has basically three important characters. The first one is Lushkov, who is the vagabond, the lazy beggar. The next is Olga, the cook of Sergei and the other character is Sergei himself, the prosperous advocate. Now let us take a glimpse of each character individually. In the initial part of the story, Lushkov comes across as a lazy beggar who wants easy life. He begs for food because he doesn't want to work. Sergei tries to make him work by offering him a job of chopping wood. His cook Olga cries every day because Lushkov never chops even a single piece of wood. Lushkov is a smart liar who resorts to many tricks to save himself from work. He cares little for the old cook and there is no change in his lethargic attitude. The character of Lushkov shines at the end of this story 
when he changes completely and surprises Sergei. We see a different shade of Lushkov who is proud of his work. He, grow, he shows gratitude for the old woman, Olga, whose tears forced him to change. So Lushkov finally becomes a transformed man. And though Sergei feels that this transformation is a gift from his part, he is absolutely wrong. It is Olga who, by her rare virtue, makes Lushkov completely changed. The next character is Olga, who was the gentle and caring cook of the advocate. She paid motherly affection to the beggar boy. Pity and concern were the emotions she comprised for the miserable vagabond. Her affection was exhibited by the fact she chopped the wood for Lushkov so that he could earn a bit money. So children, Olga gave a selfless affection to Lushkov. She did everything so that Lushkov can have a better life. And finally, she wins because she is rewarded with a transformed Lushkov. She, it is because of her virtue that Lushkov becomes a transformed person. He becomes an altogether different person. The next, is, next character is Sergei who was a famous and prosperous advocate and a man of high principles. He was strict, straightforward and didn't accept lies. His keen eyes identify Lushkov as a liar. He believed in hard work and gave Lushkov a job. This shows his kindness and sympathetic bent of mind. He was also ha happy to know that Lushkov had reformed. So Sergei is also undoubtedly a very thoughtful character who tried to bring Lushkov to the right path, but of course, by making him work. But Olga's concern, Olga's sacrifice for Lushkov was completely selfless and it stands high in regard and Lushkov remains forever grateful to Olga for making him what he becomes at the end. So these three characters revolve around the plot of the play in their own way and we discover them in a different way, in a new way at the end of the story. The story has a very important theme that we must discuss. It revolves around the theme of kindness and compassion. It also highlights that the human failing of being judgmental and labeling people while highlighting the ability of a person to change with the right motivation. Just like Lushkov transformed into a respectable person after the kindness and sympathy shown by the cook Olga. Now this story has a message as well. The strongest message of the story is the effect that kindness can have on another human being. It shows how a selfless act can have a life-changing effect on the receiver to the extent that it gives him the incentive to change a way of life that he had become entrapped in. So if one is misled in the circumstances, in the situations of life, only kindness can bring him out of that pit and that is what this story stands as an example for. That was all that we needed to discuss about this story written by Anton Chekhov. Children go through the story, read it again and again and come back to me if you have any queries. Till then have a nice time, stay safe.